Hey guys, it's Ian and I just wanted to share a quick tip with you because I've been getting a lot of requests and DMs for this, which I love, keep them coming, I love this stuff. Um, but a lot of people have questions about the new global favorites in Blackout, so I just wanted to show everyone how it works because it is awesome. So let's grab our iPads and get going. I'm using Capture to visualize this on my home network, so if there's any lag, it's because of that. Okay. So I have three fixtures patched, an S60 in mode six, a Titan tube in mode 96, and an MC Pro in mode 11, it's the ultimate mode. And I just wanted to show you guys different modes because the way the fixtures are gonna merge together in that favorite are gonna be a little different. So let's say we wanna make a favorite for a sodium vapor color. Let's start with the Titan tube. So we're gonna bring the Titan tube up, scroll down and let's dial in a nice sodium vapor. It's kinda hard to see on capture. Maybe I'll, I'll take the intensity down to see, yeah. That way we can see the color a little bit better. Something like that. Okay, let's record this as a favorite. So we're gonna go to record. We're gonna select favorites. We are going to label this as sodium. Make it a nice color that makes sense. And here's where it gets really important. We're gonna go into color, select all. Now notice what parameters are appearing in this menu. If your fixture has crossfade, which mode 96 on the Titan tube doesn't, then you're gonna need to select that when we use a different type of unit. And I'll show you that in a second. So we're all good here. So we can select that. If we go at release on our Titan tube, we see all the color defaults. If we select our favorite, it brings it back to the color. The intensity doesn't change because we didn't save it. And that's great. Let's uh, select our sky panel there and do our favorite and nothing happens. So let's make something happen. We're gonna strike our sky panel. There it is. Bring up the saturation. Now this fixture has a crossfade. So we need to bring up crossfade and let's, let's say that's good. And what we should actually do is color match it to our Titan tube. So we'll go to full there and we'll make sure we're in our favorite. Cool. Okay, we'll go back to our sky panel. Looks like I had it a bit more yellow. Looks good enough, right? So let's merge that into our existing favorite. We're gonna use update to do that. So we go update, favorites, and then let's choose our favorite, sodium. Now, here's where it gets tricky. If you just merge now, nothing's gonna work properly because the sky panel has a crossfade channel that mode 96 on the Titan tube did not. So we need to go into our menu and do select all. Now all the color parameters from the sky panel are gonna be merged into that favorite. So now we're all good to go and we're gonna hit merge. Cool. Let's release all for everything. So we strike our sky panel, it's all normal. We hit sodium, boom. Let's do the same with our Titan tube and we can strike them both at the same time. Hit our favorite, boom. And uh, the Titan tube, it's harder to tell. Let's bring that down. Yeah, that looks more like it. Cool. Okay, now let's do the same process with our MC Pro in ultimate mode. And the process is actually gonna be a little different because it has that mode select. So we're gonna go into our MC Pro and we're gonna select RGB because I found that if you use CCT and RGB, the colors don't really respond. I never use ultimate mode for an MC Pro. I just wanna show you this in case you have a tricky fixture profile. So we'll bring that up to around 50%. I could just use at at to quickly get there. And then we're going to bring, where is it? Oh, we're in RGB, so there's no crossfade anymore. We'll bring the saturation up and color match that. Boom. Now let's go ahead and merge that with the rest of our favorites. If I go into favorites and select color, all of these things come up, but mode select isn't in color. So I'm gonna select all of them. Let's make sure we choose our sodium, select all. So you wanna choose your favorite first because otherwise it'll erase what you had. And then go into control and make sure mode select is selected. If I didn't have that, it wouldn't remember the mode I selected and it would do CCT RGB and I'd actually get different values. Okay, we'll merge that in. Now, if I go and release all, let's see what happens. So we're gonna bring these all to 50% using at, at, and then let's hit our favorite. And they all become sodium vapor. So hopefully this helped and you now understand how global favorites work and can be updated, uh, especially with these trickier fixture profiles that have parameters that might not even be in the parameter category that you wanna affect like color, but you need to make sure they're in there to make sure you get the results you're expecting. Let me know if you wanna see more of these quick tips. Hopefully this helped. I am on the Facebook group and available by DM and Instagram. And I'm also available for hire in Los Angeles and worldwide as a lighting console programmer. Hope to see you soon. Bye.